Hello friends, I'm home from my Texas trip and I haven't had a chance to like tidy up so ignore the mess. <laughs> Don't judge me too harshly. Um, I had a, a four day trip visiting my mom for her birthday and I think it went pretty good overall. Ooh, Alexception over here. I'm gonna leave that as is. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I just wanted to make a YouTube video and talk to you guys because it's been a long day, so I just wanted to tell you about my day. Um, I had a good visit. Uh, I think mom had a good visit. It's just, uh, yeah, the last day is always hard, I think, for everybody on a visit. And um, I guess that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. If you have somebody visiting you, uh, and uh, you know, you're gonna miss them a lot when they leave. That's fine, totally fine, totally normal, super normal. Um, but if, if somebody like your kid is visiting you and like you want them to visit you more often, the way to get them to visit you more often is not to guilt them about leaving because then we know that we're gonna get that guilt trip every time we leave after a visit and it hurts us it, it definitely i can only speak for myself i guess but it, it hurts me um the guilt hi sam come here buddy sam missed me he's giving me a guilt trip about being gone and this is angel um but yeah hi buddy but yeah uh <laughs> just advice from a kid don't guilt trip your kids when they have to leave after visiting you because it makes us not want to visit and that sucks because i want to visit and i want to be a part of my one existing parent's life um but i don't want to feel like this i don't want to hear things like i hate when you visit because i don't know what to do when you leave because as much as that's supposed to be sweet it's not it hurts it sucks i don't like feeling guilty that i choose to live where i was born and raised and that vegas is my home and i know that texas is her home and and it makes sense that she wants to be there but i i don't and i'm just asking for a little bit of understanding and empathy and also just trying to give some advice like as as a daughter um it makes it really hard for me to visit when my parent gives me a guilt trip about leaving at the end of the visit it makes me not want to visit because this sucks it, it sucks to feel this way when all i wanted to do was go and give my parent anything they wanted for their birthday um, all I wanted to do was spoil them and like what they wanted was me to visit and you know while I was there I tried to make every 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 bit of it as as good as I could um, but it's it just feels like it's never enough and I can't keep trying um, if nothing I do is ever enough because uh, that's exhausting and <laughs> so, I don't know if I'm going to post this even, but I felt like making a video and venting, and it was an interesting up and down kind of a day anyway, because, like, we had a good time overall on the visit, you can't see this, we had a good time overall on the visit, but there were those those comments that just brought down the whole mood and made me just want to leave early. And then at the end, we went to like see a movie and I had to, I told her ahead of the time, if we go see this movie, I have to leave immediately when the movie's done because I won't have enough time to get through the airport. And that was supposed to be understood. And then when I had to run and leave, <laughs> I got a guilt trip. And I got the sad face and the, you know, the not understanding all of a sudden. And it's just so frustrating because then I ended up having to run through the airport. I didn't even get into security 
until they were already boarding my flight. And I almost didn't make my flight. I had to run to my gate. Just a series of fortunate events allowed the plane to be a little bit delayed so that I barely made my flight. If the plane hadn't been delayed, I would not have made my flight today. And I would not have made my flight today because I was trying to go when I when we had agreed that it was okay for me to go. And then all of a sudden it wasn't okay anymore. And I'm a people pleaser and I don't like upsetting the person that the whole trip, the point of the trip was making them happy. But the thing is, like, this is a lesson. This is a lesson for me that I just need to go for my own good because it wasn't worth the amount of stress to just try to placate somebody when we had already talked and it was understood that after the movie ended, I needed to run out the door, jump in the car, and drive. It, and if I had done that, I would have had at least a little bit more time to get through the airport. It already would have been hard. <laughs> it was already going to be difficult. And then don't argue with me and tell me that I have two hours to get it done when I don't. Because I didn't. I don't even know where that came from. But it... I was trying to say that I needed to go. And it's like, what do you mean? You have two hours to do that. And, and I didn't. I had an hour and a half to drive there, drop off the rental car, and get all the way through, ride the shuttle to the airport, and then get on the right. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I did, I dropped off the rental car, and I had less than 45 minutes to get from the rental car place, ride the shuttle to the airport, go to the proper area, get through security, because even though I pay for clear, uh, apparently they don't have clear at the one gate I needed to be at, and so then, yeah, it was, it was this close. I almost didn't make my flight, and that's not fair to me, and nobody's gonna advocate for me but me, so next time, that's the lesson, I need to just go, and we can talk about it later, because, whew. And then when I was on the flight, um, there was this older lady that really reminded me of my mom sitting right next to me. And she was by herself flying and, you know, she was asking me for help with different things. And I would want someone to help my mom if she were at the airport by herself. So then I immediately go from this guilt trip ending to a visit that was good and now I'm on this flight with this woman that I don't know and as much as I want to help it is an emotional strain to feel like I'm gonna have the whole flight to sleep and decompress and now it, for three hours I'm talking to this lady that I don't know and repeating myself over and over and over again and everybody that saw me helping was like, oh, you're so sweet, you're an angel for helping a stranger and all this stuff. But I don't, but I feel like an imposter because the whole time I'm like, I, I'm just, I'm, I, it is good and it does feel good to be nice, but I, I <laughs> you know, I'm happy to, to walk her to the restroom and I'm happy to walk her to where her daughter needs to pick her up. Absolutely. The part that was emotionally exhausting was just, we had to talk for the whole three hours about... See, I don't even know how to tell this story. I don't know how to explain how this feels. Talking about... I still don't know how to explain it. I took a second and I still don't because it was just talking over and over again at least 50 times and I'm not exaggerating over hours of time about how she's so grateful for me and how I'm an angel for helping and how she's a burden so it's just hours of me feeling guilty for being frustrated that I have to keep reminding this stranger that like I'm I'm happy to help you there's nothing to worry about everything will be fine uh, you know, I'm happy to take you to the restroom. I'm happy to wait with you to make sure they have a wheelchair for you. I'm happy to take you to where your daughter can pick you up. There's nothing to worry about. And just over and over and over again, the praise is exhausting and it's very uncomfortable. And then on top of that, just repeating over and over again. I tried to, I tried to tell her, like, you're, 
you're gonna get picked up at passenger pickup and that's where that's where you, you need to get picked up but she 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 was like well I'm not familiar with this airport and all this different stuff and it's like I even explained multiple times at least five times like I was like hey so when we land we'll call your daughter and she'll tell us where she's gonna be so that we make sure that that we know where to go um, so there's nothing to worry about now because you and I talking about it, we're not going to figure it out by ourselves because she should pick you up at passenger pickup, but you don't think that she will. So when we get there, we can call her, but until then, I just, I just want to sleep and, and just over and over and over just, and I don't know how to explain it. I feel like this is going to come off and people are going to misunderstand me. But it's, it's a lot to emotionally take on to reassure someone over and over and over again that they're not a burden for hours when you're just trying to help. And I, I just wanted to play my game on my phone because it's how I de-stress. And I had just gotten done having the argument with my mom about leaving too quickly. And I just wanted to play my game on my phone. And I started to play my game and she tapped me again so i paused it and and she was asking me again about where her daughter would pick her up and i tried to tell her again that I, it's okay there's nothing to worry about when we land we will call her to make sure that she knows where to pick you up that's it that's we shouldn't have to talk about that again but <laughs> As we did, we had to talk about it for a long time. So then by the time I unpaused my game, I lost the level because I couldn't remember what I was doing, which is not a big deal. But then my, fl my phone glitched and so I had zero lives left for the rest of the flight. So uh, for the three hour flight, I didn't get to play my game that makes my brain relax even once. <laughs> I didn't get to play even once. And that was all I was looking forward to. After all the stress, I, that's all I wanted. And I couldn't have it, and it was so frustrating. But then at the same time, it's so embarrassing to be frustrated by that. And to have, like, the flight attendant even offered me, like, she was like, do you want any snacks? You're so nice helping her. And, like, on one hand, I, I know that it's nice, and I know that not everybody would would do it and I know that other people would have been frustrated and let her know it and you know just being frustrated and keeping it to myself is nice but but I feel like an imposter I feel like a fraud I feel like and that's why I didn't I didn't take anything they were like are you sure you don't want anything to eat or drink and they're like let us at least give you a bottle of water and I was like I don't I don't want anything thank you and I just, I just hope that somebody does this for me when I'm older. And I don't know. I'm just venting because it's just a weird position to be in. Because I ended up spending an extra hour and a half at the airport helping her find her grandson and her daughter. And then they were, they, re, they united and they, they went off and like, I'm really glad that I helped and I felt really good about helping. And then when I was leaving, there were there was a couple that were lost and looking for the Uber place. And so I was like, hey, follow me. I'm going to where the Ubers pick you up so you can just follow me. And, and you know, they were like, oh, thank you so much. You're our guide. Thank you. And and they were great. And I felt really good helping them. And it, and it boosted my mood again. But, like, I was on the plane sitting like this, just hiding that I was crying at one point because it was just so emotionally taxing. And I don't know why I'm saying this at all other than to vent and to try to explain like how, if I'm doing something nice for you, just, just let me and don't make me reassure you that it's fine over and over because that's the part that gets very tiring. And I don't know why that's the part that's tiring, but it is. And I, 
I feel like the people that I'm talking to would not, like, my mom, like, would not understand this message at all. And it would just be like, well, I just won't ask for help then. And that's not the point. The point is just let me help without making me reassure you that it's okay to accept my help for hours at a time. I don't know. This is a weird vent, but... I'm home now, and I'm gonna go take a shower, and everything's fine, and I, I don't know why I have so many emotions.